Thought for the day, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I was reading in the book of Isaiah, <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 24, where devastation is coming upon the earth. Verse 2 reminds us that this devastation will come to every people, regardless of who they are, rich or poor, tall or short, black or white, don't matter. And today I wanted to speak about impartiality. Romans chapter 2 verse 11 reminds us that God shows no impartiality. He sees everybody equally, and so should we. We read in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 15 that we should show no impartiality when it comes to the courts and law. Oftentimes people uh, get away with things simply because of certain kind of prejudices, and that shouldn't be the case. The law and justice should be equal for everybody. We're told in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28, that God will save us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, regardless of who we are. There's neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, Scythian nor barbarian. It says there in that scripture, we're all the same. God saves from every tribe, language, and tongue. And we too, my friends, need to learn not to show any partiality. Acts chapter 10, verse 34 and 35 is a reminder God shows no impartiality, but he is, though, he is close to those who fear him. Something that's repeated in Psalm 147, verse 11. God is close to those who fear him and put their hope in him. Now, this fear is not a fear you have of maybe when you were younger, if you had a, a, an abusive parent. Uh, no, that's not the fear we have. If the fear we have for God is awe, reverential reverence for who he is. Reminding ourselves that he is God and we're only here as human beings. He's infinite. We're finite. We live in a day and age, sadly, where there's so much impartiality, so much prejudice. Um, vaccinated, unvaccinated. Uh, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Black, white, um, you, you name it. Straight, gay. Everything is, is divided and governments love to do that so that people fight and quarrel. As a house divided against itself cannot stand, so to a nation. When a nation is divided, it will not stand. And government leaders often like to do this so that they can change the way governments and nations run so they become more powerful. It's happened throughout history. And if you don't learn from history, you often repeat it. And sadly today, because of the ignorance of much that's going on in our country, where it's amazing how a doctor by the name of Deborah Burks, I don't know if you remember her, she, um, she was one of those doctors about three years ago when COVID was coming around. She used to wear a scarf around her neck. She would be at a lot of, a lot of press conferences with Anthony Fauci. Well, she recently came out with a book where... She said we were surprised at how quick everybody got these vaccines. She thought that people were going to have to, the government and these uh, medical leaders were going to have to fight hard tooth and nail to get people to trust an experimental vaccine. And she was surprised at how gullible so many people were so quick to get it. Now, I'm not looking down at nobody that got a vaccine. Whether you got it or not, that's between you and God. The point I'm trying to make is, is that we're living in a day where people just believe everything they hear on TV or by some medical leader instead of trusting in God. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 tells us that we are to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. When you love God, you will not fear man. You will not fear an invisible virus. You will not fear what the future holds. I am not standing here talking to you higher than you i got my own fear and anxieties i got my own stress like we all do as we read in second timothy chapter 2 verse 30 second timothy chapter 2 verse 13 any person that wants to live a godly life in christ jesus will suffer persecution trials and tribulations will come in our lives it's what we do with it are we going to trust god or are we going to trust man or ourselves my friends today, this is why there's so much impartiality, so much prejudice in the country, in the world, is because we look at people and we judge them by our own perspective. Uh, 
And oftentimes we put our trust in people who are like us. I mean, if we're honest, we all have a little prejudices in ourselves and we need to let God have reign in our hearts and minds, my friends, cleanse us through Jesus Christ so we don't have this impartiality. As I said before, God has no partiality. He looks at everybody equally. And we're all under the wrath of God by nature. Romans chapter 1 verse 18 reminds us that the wrath of God is upon all people, no matter who you are. And the only way of escape, as we read in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, is through Christ. There's no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. It is to Jesus Christ and him alone. And Christ doesn't look at who you are outwardly. He looks at your heart. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. Lord, cleanse us of all little prejudices that we have in our own hearts. May we see people as you see them, sinners in need of a Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all.